Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. We're finally going to get another bonus buck sale tomorrow. The last one was about two months ago. This one's going to be 15% if you're a 3% Infinite Subscriber member. If you're not a subscriber at all, it's going to be 10%. And it's going to be on everything on the website, supplies, sealed, and singles, which I suspect TCG Player makes the vast majority of their money off of single sales, and that's why they don't often include singles in the sales the bonus buck sales that is so we've been in this weak bull market for about six or seven months now with prices just very slowly trending upwards for a lot of people that makes it a lot easier to buy something and hold on to it they don't face the prospect of the price going down in the short term which maybe that'll help for you maybe you're more like me and you don't mind getting punched in the stomach every time you buy something but you know, in general, don't bet against Scarlet and Violet. You know, you see a lot of people with a lot of regret now over choosing to miss out on Sword and Shield era Pokemon boxes. People who said they were overprinted, that, you know, there were 9 billion cards and the trainer galleries weren't good enough and everything else. And now we see how many of the Sword and Shield era booster boxes have broken over $200 dollars. A couple more headed towards $300 now. And of course, Evolving Skies still sitting right around $700. And a lot of people chose to miss out on that. Don't miss out on Scarlet and Violet. There will be a lot of booster boxes from Scarlet and Violet, four or five of them now, that will be available tomorrow at sub $100. So don't miss out. Also, don't bet against collector boxes from Magic. You know, if you look back to Phyrexia in January of 2023 and you come forward to today, there is only one collector box, that being Murders at Karloff Manor, that is not selling above its original wholesale price today. So WotC has finally figured out how to cut print runs, how to manage distribution, how to reinsert value into the collector boxes, and how to keep the prices from collapsing on release. So, you know, if there are any collector boxes that you wanted to have that you haven't got in a position in yet, well, the beginnings of a weak bull market with very good performance in collector boxes in the last year. It's a pretty good time on top of a bonus buck sale. On that note, uh, if you have a pre-order at Amazon for Modern Horizons 3 collector boxes exploiting their low price guarantee, then you might consider canceling that if you go ahead and change your pre-order over to TCG Player tomorrow. It will likely end up being cheaper having pre-ordered the Modern Horizons 3 collector box on TCG Player during a bonus buck sale with 15% cash back than it will be at whatever ultimate dump price that Amazon ends up at before the release. So I'm probably going to change mine over tomorrow. Uh, specific picks, of course, my patrons already have those over on Patreon and I will release those to everyone else as a normal Friday seal deal video tomorrow morning about the time that the sale starts. If you want to use the affiliate code for Final Trade, it's a site-wide TCG Player affiliate code. It costs you nothing and it helps out a ton, keeps the program going, keeps me making content, and helps the business grow. So, you know, it's a great time. It's a really healthy market seeing products selling and holding up at prices where card stores even small card stores can make money off of them where the threat to every card store of having to fire sale below their wholesale prices in order to pay the electric bill pay rent and stay in business for another month is disappearing hopefully watsi can keep managing things like adults and hopefully they can keep leaning on some of the better managed games like flesh and blood and pokemon to help them through until magic gets its act completely in line because the reality is magic is where most players are magic is where most sales happen magic is where most card stores make most of their money and so you know when magic is unhealthy it really hurts the whole ecosystem and especially the card stores which are the bedrock of that ecosystem so i'm really excited i've got a big list of things i'm buying tomorrow uh, it's getting kind of out of hand with the amount of stuff that I've been buying these last couple of sales, but I'm able to turn around a lot of it and sell it in the time afterwards or open a lot of it for singles and make money off of that. So it's been really great and Final Trade's grown a lot and it's very exciting. So thanks for coming along with me, guys. Um, 
Hopefully you find something tomorrow you can take advantage of. Remember to use the affiliate code to help out Final Trade. And let me know what you think, what you plan to buy. And maybe if you're watching this after tomorrow, what you actually bought. Thanks to everyone who makes this content possible, especially my very generous supporters on Patreon. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join me on Final Trade.